We gonna keep it rolling. Yes, sir, we gonna keep it rolling because here's our piano man, Billy Kyle. In this lab, we'll be using the Leica Sprinter camera and we'll explain the assets of this camera. This is the Leica Sprinter leveling camera and this is how you set it. First, you remove the battery cartridge out of the camera and then put batteries inside the cartridge. Then, you put the cartridge back in the camera. Then you hammer the peg down into the ground and make sure the peg is hammered down in a vertical stance. Don't hammer the peg in a slanted direction. And then you place the levering rod on top of the peg and adjust the air bubble so it's placed in the middle. This is how you set the tripod. First, you push the tripod's legs down to the ground and make sure the tripod's legs are set tightly into the ground. We now set the camera onto the tripod and adjust the screw. Don't adjust it too tightly or else the camera won't be able to rotate. Then, we adjust the screws so that they are parallel to the camera. After that, turn the camera to another direction so that it is parallel to the last screw and perpendicular to the other two screws. Finally, we adjust the last screw so that the bubble will be in the center. With this high accuracy optical element, you can simply aim and focus the staff as an optical level. Optical reading is no longer needed. The bar's code on the staff determines height and distance, which is di displayed on a highly visible LCD display. There will be no misreading. With its easy one-button operation, like a sprinter does not need any intensive training. Simply push the red button to take, a, take the measurement. That's all you need to do. Starting from the benchmark, the level is set between the benchmark and TP1. At the benchmark, hold the leveling rod upright so that the air bubble is in the middle. Then take a first reading at the benchmark. This reading is called backside. Move the staff to TP1. When upright, take a foresight reading. Move the level to set between TP1 and TP2. Take a reading at TP1 once more. This reading is foresight. Move the staff to TP2, then turn a camera point to TP2, called backside. Repeat this procedure until complete a full cycle to benchmark. This is the data table. It contains the data of the station, sight, distance, backside, the height of the instrument, foresight, elevation, correction, and adjusted elevation. The backside is measured from the benchmark to TP1. To find the height of the instrument, we add the elevation 1 with the backside. To find elevation 2, we subtract the height of the instrument with the foresight. Its benefits include increased productivity, minimize human errors, and is capable of operating in low light conditions. With Leica Sprinter, data can be downloaded to your personal computer via USB interface. The Sprinter Data Loader enables a smooth data transfer to Excel. 
your measurements can also be transferred to external data collector via RS2D through interface.